Hello. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here please subscribe, share and like this video. Your support is very much appreciated. This is part 2 of all the Plantagenet Princes of Wales in history. Edward of Westminster, Prince of Wales. Edward of Westminster, Prince of Wales, was born on April 13, 1453. He was the only child of King Henry VI of England and Margaret of Anjou. Edward was born during a tumultuous period in English history known as the Wars of the Roses, a series of conflicts between the rival houses of Lancaster and York for control of the English throne. Edward was given the title of Prince of Wales in 1454. It was rumoured that he was the result of an affair between his mother and Lancastrian supporter Edmund Beaufort, Duke of Somerset. Edward's father, King Henry VI, suffered from a mental illness and was captured at the Battle of Northampton by Richard, Duke of York. Richard, Duke of York, had Parliament pass the Act of Accord. This act disinherited Prince Edward and allowed York and his heirs to inherit the throne. Richard's son, Edward eventually won the English throne. Edward's life was marked by his exile in France and his mother's efforts to reinstate his father as king. Edward's mother allied herself with the Earl of Warwick. To secure the new alliance, Edward married Warwick's daughter Anne Neville. Warwick briefly restored Henry Vi to the throne. Tragically, Edward of Westminster's life was cut short during the Battle of Tewkesbury on May 4, 1471. Edward's death marked a significant setback for the Lancastrian cause, and it paved the way for Edward IV to solidify his position as king. Edward of York, Prince of Wales, King of England. Edward V of England was born on November 2, 1470. He was born in Sanctuary. Edward V was the eldest son of King Edward IV of England and Elizabeth Woodville. When Edward IV died in April 1483, his son Edward was just 12 years old. According to King Edward's will his brother Richard Duke of Gloucester, later Richard III, was appointed as regent. However, instead of assuming the role of protector and overseeing Edward's upbringing, Richard moved to secure his own power. He imprisoned members of the Woodville family, who were aligned with Edward V's mother, Elizabeth Woodville. Richard then declared that Edward IV's marriage to Elizabeth had been invalid, thereby making Edward V and his siblings illegitimate. Richard claimed the throne for himself. Edward V and his younger brother, Richard, Duke of York, were confined to the Tower of London, where their fate remains a subject of historical debate. They were seen less in public, and their eventual disappearance from historical records has led to speculation that they may have been murdered in the Tower, although the exact circumstances of their deaths are still a mystery. Edward of Middleham, Prince of Wales. Edward of Middleham was born in December between 1473 or 1476. He was the only child of King Richard III of England and his wife, Anne Neville. His father, Richard III, had become king in 1483 after seizing the throne from his nephew, Edward V. He was made Prince of Wales and Earl of Chester on September 8, 1473. He also joined his parents on progress. However, his life was cut tragically short when he died at a young age of around 10 or 11 years old. With his passing, Richard III was left without a legitimate heir, further destabilizing his reign. Richard III's rule was short-lived, and he was defeated and killed at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485 by Henry Tudor, Henry VII, who then established the Tudor dynasty and became king. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos.